How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today we're going to be having a look at the boolean function in JavaScript as well as the double exclamation mark because both of these two things do pretty much the same thing but there might be a reason to use one over the other and I'm also going to be talking about why you would even want to use them in the first place, okay? So I did a video on the boolean function a couple of weeks ago, which covers why you want to use it, how it works, etc. But just for a quick recap, the boolean function and the double exclamation mark for that matter is going to take a value and then convert it into a boolean, true or false. So things like the number one or the value of true or an object, okay? Those things are going to uh, be interpreted as being true in JavaScript, so you're gonna get true as the outcome, but falsy values like zero, false, empty string, those are gonna be interpreted as being false. Let's have a look here. Console.log, boolean, capital B, then brackets, passing in value here. Run the script and we get here true. So it takes your one, converts it into a boolean. Let's try the value of empty string Go again, and this time we get false right there. Now in my previous video, I covered a couple of different values. So this is an extract from that video. If you have empty string, zero, false, null, undefined or not a number, all of these are going to give you false. Everything else, including empty arrays and empty objects is gonna give you true. So that's how the boolean function works. And it's also how the double exclamation mark works. Let's have a look at that now. So let's do double exclamation mark, get rid of the brackets. So simply just double exclamation mark, then value, save this, run it again, and we get the same result, false. Let's do a string with contents inside of it. Try again, and we get true, okay? Fantastic, so that is your boolean function and the double exclamation mark. Now, why would you want to use uh, both of these or you know, why would you wanna choose one and then use it in your code? Because for the most part in JavaScript, your truthy and falsy values are gonna be interpreted in the code. So for example, you might say if value, then say console.log string has contents, okay? value being a uh, being a string with data inside of it is going to be interpreted as being true so in this condition it is a true it's if true right run the script again and of course we get the the uh, the output the console log empty string go again the if statement is not entered so why even use boolean or double exclamation mark that's a good point in a situation like this you might want to say double exclamation mark, value, you're gonna get the exact same result. This here is clearer intention. What is your code trying to do? In my opinion, I would stick with simply just saying if value. I think that is a lot more well known in the JavaScript community and you know across code bases, etc. But again, if you want to explicitly uh, communicate your intention, you may wish to use double exclamation mark or the boolean function. But there is a practical use case for doing this. And that is when it comes to JSON. And I'm also going to be covering TypeScript. So with JSON, let's say const object equal to add a new property here, username is decode just to add some more data. Then say value colon value or you can do shorthand and just say value like this, same thing. Now if I was to say console.log, uh, json.stringify, convert the object to json, try it again, and we get here value as empty string. If you want to easily convert this into a boolean, well of course, you can use double exclamation mark and then value. Save this, run it again, and now we get value as being false. That is one reason to want to use boolean or double exclamation mark in my opinion. This is probably the best use case for doing so. Also keep in mind that if you've worked with APIs before, you know that some of them, especially the older ones, may wish to return a one and a zero for your true and falses and not an actual true and false. So if you wanna take that value and then put it somewhere else, different requests maybe, you may want to of course take that value and then convert it into a boolean and off you go. 
So that is your first reason, real reason, to use uh, double exclamation mark or the Boolean function, does the same thing. But you've also got TypeScript. But before jumping to TypeScript, I want to have a look at a practical reason to use Boolean over double exclamation mark. And this here is going to be uh, combining it with the filter function, okay? So let's say you have an array, I'll say const array equal to, and we'll say here, uh, empty string 10 uh, decode empty object then false. These are of course a random set of values, but if I want to filter out the ones that are populated or resolve to being truthy, then I can say const, uh, let's just do valid values equal to array dot filter then simply provide the boolean function nice and easy like this right so without calling it just say boolean now it's going to of course uh, filter out the ones that don't resolve to being true and we get 10 decode and empty object of course just proving of course that uh, empty object is going to give you true you can't do this as easily with double exclamation mark. For that, you need to say value, then not not value, like this, right? I mean, it's almost the same amount of characters, but you know what I mean? Simple pass the function in and you're done. So that might be one reason to use Boolean over double exclamation mark. But now going back to a practical reason for these uh, different things here, is going to be TypeScript. So going into this TypeScript file right here, we have a type definition for user ID string display name string, and down here this object is going to abide to that user type. Now let's add a new property here online with a boolean as the type. So is the user currently online? Now we're going to say online equal to true just to get rid of that error right there. But how do we know if a user is online in this hypothetical scenario? You might have a web application as well as a mobile application and a session on one of those might be to say, look, the user's on the mobile. So that's one session. The user's also logged in on the desktop or the web browser, therefore you have a second session. So if the user has more than one session active, then they're online on the website or the app. So let's say here, const sessions equal to, then an array of two objects. So of course, an empty object representing a session. Okay, so there's two sessions here, one for web, one for uh, mobile. Then it's say sessions.length. Okay, this here works, there's a TypeScript error, but this is valid JavaScript, right? If your session's length is more than zero, then, well, you're going to get true, right? It, it gets interpreted as being true. What I'm saying is you can use double exclamation mark to take your zero or your two, in this case, and convert it into an actual Boolean because TypeScript doesn't want you to provide number, it wants you to provide Boolean. So you can do this here, or double exclamation mark. In my opinion, I think it's actually clearer if you say session's length is more than zero. This here is a lot more explicit because you're saying, okay, more than zero. But there might be a case where, yeah, you may want to use double exclamation mark to get rid of your TypeScript errors. And that is Boolean and double exclamation mark in JavaScript. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another video.